Now, another fourth one. If a1 equal to 1 by 2 into 5. 1 by 2 into 5. Next one, 1 by 5 into 8. Next one, 1 by 8 into 11. And so on up to. Some series is given. Forget about, I, I don't want kids to find out a 100 value and do it. Just we will use approximation. Now see, 1 by 2 is a 50 percentage. 1 by 4 is 25 percentage. Denom numerator greater than denominator, right? Numerator less than denominator. All the fractions are far away from each other. Fractions are far away from each other. If the fractions are far away from each other, if the fractions are far away from each other, the best way to solve the question is approximation technique. Is approximation technique. What is this approximation technique? 1 by 2 into 5 is 10. 1 by 10 is 10 percentage. 5 into 8 is 40. 1 by 40 is 2.5 percentage. 1 by 88 is closer to 1 percentage 10 plus 2.5 plus 1 answer should be just greater than 13.5 percentage answer should be just greater than 13.5 percentage 1 by 2 is 50 percentage 1 by this is any way numerator greater than denominator this we are stuck 1 by 4 is 25 percentage answer should be just greater than 13.5 percentage we got the answer as 25 by 151 now let us check by using the method 2 whether i solved it right or wrong in this one what most of the students will do they will find out a hundred substitute the value and use method 2 i am telling no need if answer options are far away from each other straight bang on use approximation concept if the answer options are closer to each other then go to method 2 eliminate the wrong answer options depending upon the denominator value answer for this question is 25 by 151 let me check whether this is the answer now see here method 2 method 2 these all are easy if you know all these concepts 1 by 2 into 5 next one is 1 by 5 into 8 third one is 1 by 8 into 11 and so on the first numerical value in the denominator series is 2, 5, 8 and so on. So, Tn is nothing but A plus N minus 1 into D. 2 plus N minus 1 into D is nothing but the common difference between consecutive numerical values 3, which is nothing but 3N minus 1. 3N minus 1. So, Tn is given by... 3n minus 1. T1 is nothing but 3 minus 1, 2. T2 is nothing but 6 minus 1, 5. T100 is nothing but 300 minus 1, 299. So, 100th value is 299. Every time there is an increase of 3. So, 3 increase is 302. 3 increase is 302. Just by looking at a question, you can say... 302 answer should be either a factor of 302 or 302 these eliminated these eliminated 1 by 2 is a 50 percentage not at all possible so 25 by 151 so answer is nothing but write down the first term as well as the last term 1 by 2 minus 1 by 302 1 by 3 into 1 so these is nothing but 1 by 3 into 302 minus 2, 300 divided by 302. So, from there, answer is nothing but 25 by 151. I hope the idea is clear. Just because you know one method, don't use that method for that problem. Use your mind. Mind is more powerful than the pen that you are using it. It Mathematics is all about, not about finding x. It is all about finding Y, W, H, Y. 
depending upon the merit of the question i will use the problem in my class most of the problems i am going to discuss multiple approaches a student will solve it in the notebook depending upon his or her way of understanding it and the merit of the problem a student will choose a particular concept i hope the idea is clear fifth one see here 1 by 2 square minus 1 4 square minus 1 those of you are preparing for cat exam this is an original cat question right one can be written as one square one can be written as one square one can be written as one square this can be written as one square method one a square minus b square logic a square minus b square is a minus b into a plus b so if i use this logic 1 by 2 minus 1 2 plus 1 4 minus 1 4 plus 1 6 minus 1 6 plus 1 20 minus 1 20 plus 1 20 plus 1 now if you see if i use this approach if there are two numerical values in the denominator write down the first numerical value and the last numerical value 1 by common difference between consecutive numerical values is 2 two numerical values became 1 so 1 by 2 into 20 by 21 which is nothing but 10 by 21 which is nothing but 10 by 21 answer is 10 by 21 if this is taking you 30 seconds to solve the problem right you can solve the problem in 5 seconds just by looking at the question what is the last numerical value last numerical value is nothing but 21 denominator should be either 21 or the factor of 21 all the three options are out only one option a 30 seconds problem became 5 seconds problem because you attended my class because you know how to look at the answer options and eliminated it and invested time on many problems a 25 seconds has been saved on this problem in case if you are going by the traditional method which is taught in your classes or online classes this question most of them not most all of them will solve it in this method which will take 30 seconds to find it out because you attended my class and you know the denominator condenser approach you are able to save 25 seconds on this problem like that the more and more videos if you watch if i if you are able to learn 100 plus concepts from my youtube videos and each saves 25 seconds into 100 concepts 2500 seconds of your time has been saved which is literally close to 40 minutes of your time this is the advantage if you subscribe to our youtube channel and listen to my absolutely scintillating conceptual videos i hope the idea is clear those students who are the students of anil Nair, just by looking at a question you can say that last term is 21 so denominator should be a 21 or the factor of 21 three options are eliminated if more than one answer option has got 21 you will go with the method 2 or if the options are the fraction values are far away from each other you will use approximation crystal clear clarity next one now see here 1 by 7 square minus 3 square 1 by 13 square minus 3 square 19 square minus 3 square 49 square minus 3 square method 2 method 2 now if you look at method 2 a square minus b square is a minus b into a plus b 7 square 7 minus 3 4 7 plus 3 10 13 minus 3 10 13 plus 3 16 19 minus 3 16 19 plus 3 22 49 minus 3 46 49 plus 3 52 so these are nothing but 1 by 4 minus 1 by 52 1 by common difference is 6 denominator 1 1 by 6 into 52 minus 4 48 divided by 4 into 52 answer is 2 by 52 which is nothing but 1 by 26 1 by 26 
this 1 by 26 is the answer. If you observe the last one, last term denominator is 52. Answer should be either 52 or the factor of 52. All the options are 52 or the factor of 52. So, the denominator condensing approach might not work here. Now, if you see, how are the answer options? If I make everything into 52, these 2 by 52, these 3 by 52, these 4 by 52, this is... 6 by 52. Answer options are also closer to each other. So, it is better to use method 2. There will be some values where the denominator will have the same answer option which is either the value or the factors of the value. I hope you have understood the significance of method 2 and when not to use the denominator condensing approach.